was a first day for you, and you know, what were your thoughts on the trade, and, um, and, and you know, the the role that the Jazz received for you coming into this season? Um, yeah, I mean, I was like five questions in one, huh? <laughs> God damn. I'll it down. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I'll it what down. you want me to say? All right. Uh, no, what I mean, are your thoughts on the trade and what the Jazz received as your role this season? Yeah, I mean, obviously the trade came kind of out of nowhere. It's like two days before training camp starts. You know, you you get a call or called into office here. You're getting traded. You know, it kind of catches you by surprise. But I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. You know, I'm excited to be part of this. Um, you know, be out here. You know, I, you know, I love the the people they have in the front office. I, I I think they have a great you know direction and and plan in place and where they they want to get to and want to go. And how to get there. So, you know, I believe in them. You know, I love, you know, the coaches they brought in. You know, everybody. Um, and you know, just after this first day, getting to meet all the guys. You know, we got we got some talented players on this roster, some experience, some young guys. I think it's going to be a good mix. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. What is your relationship with Danny Ainge? I mean, obviously, he drafted me ten years ago. So, <laughs> you know, I, I love Danny. He's, you know, uh, first and foremost, unbelievable person. You know, high character, loves the game of basketball, always upbeat, always positive. Um, and, you know, he, he knows what he's doing. You know, he has been around the game for <laughs> decades. Um, you know, and it's fun to be back, you know, united with Danny. And, um, you know, I know that, you know, he believes in us and, you know, he wants us to succeed. And, um, you know, that's the start of, of getting there. You have some experience being on teams kind of in this exact situation going through the rebuilding process, what kind of experience, I guess, can you lend to some of the younger guys who are here and, and going through it for the first time? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's just you got to take it day by day, take a step forward every day. Um, you know, like in any business, you know, over, <laughs> overnight successes don't actually happen overnight, right? It, it, you know, it takes work, it takes time, um, you know, little building blocks to get better every single day. Um, it's crazy because I was like, when we were in Boston, when I got drafted to Boston, we were almost in the exact same situation, um, you know, with Danny that, that they're in here right now. Um, you know, have some older guys with experience. You got some young guys. You got a bunch of draft picks coming in uh, for the next few years. And, um, you know, you're just trying to get better every single day, um, you know, whatever that, that, that is. And, you know, like in Boston, we had a young first year coach in Brad, and now we have a, you know, first time young head coach in Will. And I think, you know, it's going to be great for us, um, and everybody's going to be pulling rope in the, in the same direction. And that's how you move things. Along those lines, I mean, what's the mental toll of kind of the losses that can mount up? You're talking about, like, losing games? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously it takes, a, it takes a toll, but, I mean, we don't, we don't plan on <laughs> mounting up losses. Um, you know, you got to take it, you know, in stride. Whatever, whatever happens, um, you got to get better and learn from it, and that's part of, you know, sometimes you're going to take a step back. You know, but the next day, you got to take two steps forward. You got to make sure you're going in the right direction every single time. Um, you know, you don't want to steer off the path. You know, go sideways. You know, that that's with yourself, with the team, with others. Um, you got to stay connected. You know, stay as one, and and know that the bigger picture is, you know, to get better. You know, day in and day out, and you know, you'll see change over. You know, when you take back and look at the bigger picture, you're going to see, you know, more change than you know, kind of day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Um, you know, you're going to drop some games, you're going to win some games, you're going to learn, and you're going to get better. One thing <coughs> Stanley Johnson told us was that when he got traded here, he was kind of impressed with, like, the organization, kind of the setup of kind of how they get you from traded to ready to go. What has, like, the last four or five days been like in terms of, you know, when did you fly here? Uh, have they kind of kept in communication with you the whole time? Like, kind of what has that process been? Just yeah, like, I mean, I was definitely, you know, impressed. Um, it's a, you know, first class organization from what I've seen, you know, in the 36 hours or whatever <laughs> I've been here. Um, you know, obviously, trade happened whatever Thursday, after, whatever morning, afternoon, whatever you, I guess morning here, afternoon there. Um, and kind of like processing it, make sure it's actually happening <laughs> and stuff. And then for me, it was like, shoot, I have like Friday, Saturday to kind of get my life together in Detroit, you know, pack up your house a little bit. You know, get some stuff, you know, ready to, to go, um, get get everything in order. And then, you know, I came out here, whatever it was, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, you know, did some physical stuff at the hospital. Um, and then media day, you know, Monday, um, we had a little get-together, a little barbecue kind of last night, and then it was hit the ground running today. 
So there wasn't a lot of time. I think he had a little more time <laughs> to kind of get situated and settled. Um, but no, everything, all the communication, you know, you've, we've been welcomed, you know, in every which way. Um, they, they've been awesome. This, this organization and everybody I've come in contact to so far has been you know, super helpful, super willing to help um, in any form. And um, it's just been awesome to be, be here and be a part of it. Was it Denny who called you when uh, you when the trade did happen, or was it Will or Justin? Or uh, I mean, like at at the start, I mean, obviously Detroit talks to you first, and then yeah, Danny called me, and then Justin, and then uh, and then Will as well. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited. You know, seems like everybody's on board on the same page, and uh, you know, looking forward to. Houston was pretty young. Detroit was pretty young. Is it nice to have as many vets as there are on this team again? Yeah, Houston was was really young when I was there. Uh, we we had a couple vets in Houston, but they were kind of hurt at the time. Detroit is young, and they they got younger <laughs> this year. Um, yeah, I mean, I think right now, I mean, you look out on the floor and you have some guys who played, you know, in the NBA for a while. Obviously, Mike and um, being the the top of that. Um, but you got guys who played meaningful minutes in in, in NBA seasons and games and. You know, guys who, you know, when you're when you're walking in the the locker room, you don't just see you know blank faces. Um, you know, guys who know what's what's coming, and uh, you know it's good to be, you know, kind of have those guys, you know, mixed in throughout to you know to help some younger guys and help you know whoever comes in and out of this program to to grow and and just you know teach them what it takes to to play in this league. What have they told you about your role or expectations or why they wanted to bring you in? You know, not a, not a ton so far. I think everybody's kind of trying to figure everything out, um, top to bottom. But um, you know, just come in and you know, be be yourself. You know, play hard. You know, help help this team win in any way you can, both ends of the floor, um, versatility. Uh, you know, whatever it is. So, um, and I'm sure that'll kind of mold into a more concrete thing as training camp, preseason, season goes along. Um, but for now, we, we're just trying to go out there and play, play for each other, and, and play together. Do you uh, the 25 games in Houston were kind of I mean, you changed the world, right? You had massive numbers during that stretch. What did you learn about your game when you had that much burden on you every game? Yeah, I mean, I think at Houston, like we we had a, you know a lot of young guys playing at that time, and you know I was leaned on to do a lot of different things, and um, you know I think I did a good job stepping up to the plate and delivering for for Houston. Um, you know, it was it was kind of like I was the guy they were looking to to you know to to get things moving offensively, um, you know, score, rebound, get get the ball moving, um, and it's you know when you're putting those roles and you know I know I can I can do that kind of stuff, but you know I've played on a lot of teams and there's sometimes in teams where that's not going to be a role to you know to to shoot and score and make plays. Other times it's to space the floor or set screens or get shooters open. You know, run the floor, do different things. Um, you know, when I was in Boston or Miami, and you're, you know, going deep in the playoffs and the in the finals, um, you know, your role is is fluid in, in in terms of you know what what you know game to game, series to series, month to month, year to year. Um, so that that I mean, that's part of the reason that you know you see guys play you know 10, 12, 14, 16 years because they they can adapt and you know. You know, change to what what a team needs, and I think that's that's part of being a professional, part of being a pro, and you know, probably part of why I've been in the league for ten, ten plus years is that that ability to do that. So you know, for me, you know, maybe it's that Houston role that they need, maybe it's something else, and you you got to go out here and figure out what that is. You know, communicate and and play that role to the to the best of your ability. You talked about helping the younger guys. Where have you kind of grown as a mentor as you you know? become a veteran yeah I mean I think uh, you know it's just about you know being there obviously on and off the court you know teaching guys what it's like to be a professional you know how to be professional you know how to work you know how to prepare and then you know how to how to get the most out of themselves you know on the basketball court um, and it's it's hard to put into words you know because everybody leads and teaches and grows in a different way um, but it's just about you know, being yourself and making it authentic because, you know, if you're kind of stepping outside of yourself and, and making it, you know, not real, you know, guys aren't going to perceive it and receive it. 
and, uh, you know, take it to heart. You know, it's got to be, you know, true leadership and, you know, meaningful and, uh, you know, make sure that you, you know, what you're saying has value. You mentioned this team having a young head coach in Will Hardy. Obviously, he's got a bunch of years in the league as an assistant, but first time running a camp as like the guy in charge. How did the vibe or, or kind of the emphasis out there today compare or contrast to, you know, previous ones that you've been through? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to, to judge after one day. Um, and maybe judge is the wrong word because you, you don't want to judge people. But, you know, I think he's, you know, he's got a, you know, a lot of years under him as assistant um, and some, some good programs and some great places where he's done a lot, a lot of good things. And I think that, you know, you can see how, you know, he is a basketball mind, basketball IQ. He lets guys play, um, lets guys play free. And, um, you know, I think with a younger team, and that's what you need, you know, the freedom to let guys kind of be themselves and, you know, go out and compete and work hard um, and then kind of, you know, rein it in and rope it in from there. Um, but he, he brings energy, you know, he brings competitiveness, a little bit of fire. And, uh, you know, he's young and he's upbeat. And, you know, that's, that's what you want out of, a, you know, an atmosphere in the NBA. What do you guys do today? What did we do today? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of things. Have you had the yeah, but we played a little bit, you know, got up and down a little bit, a little bit of drills, a little bit of teaching, you know, some, some shots, you know, kind of just your, you know, regular thing, kind of feeling each other out, you know, playing a bit, getting up and down, um, you know, nothing too structured. Um, I'm sure it'll, you know, they'll put in some more stuff as, as training camp goes. It, you don't want to, you know, overload kids, you know, especially young players' brains too early. Um, where they're, where they're thinking and not just going out and hooping. So, you know, I think they, did, they had a good balance in that.